For many years, Fort Wingate has been the home to many people. Bear Springs Plaza had many employees and people going in and out. Now it's completely empty and the town is for sale with a hefty price tag of $11 million. 18 acres of real estate, including a convenience store, gas station and cafe. But inside it's empty, yet full of welcoming characters like birds, a rabbit, a coin operated elephant, even a koi pond and waterfall. And there are traces of history at every glance. Part of the history of Fort Wingate is the old military base. Although it's not part of the cell, it's right across the street from the town. Right now it's abandoned and locked up. There were actually two Fort Wingates. The original Fort Wingate was near San Rafael. What's significant in the 1860s is, is that this is where uh, Kit Carson and the U.S. military are headquartered and they round up Navajo people to march them on the long walk. A 300 mile walk from Fort Wingate to Bosque Redondo near Fort Sumner. 9,000 Navajo men, women and children were forced to walk and kept there for three years before being returned. This time to a new Fort Wingate near Gallup where people were processed. For years it served as a military base and eventually became an Indian boarding school. It was a terrible experiment, uh, a disaster really, uh, attempting to assimilate uh, the uh, Navajo people forced them to become culturally American. The town has been in the owner's family since the 1940s. He grew up here and now maintains most of the town on his own. He did not want to be on camera, but did give me a tour. Fort Wingate has 27 homes. Some of the people that lived here have lived here for decades. As we were walking through the community, one person told us the cell caught them by surprise. The owner says he wants to sell to someone that will allow these people to stay. Everything inside the cafe, including historical items, are part of the sale. I would hope we would remember uh, the legacy of Fort Wingate, uh, the long walk, Kit Carson and the U.S. military forcing Navajo people into a horrendous situation. And the military purposes uh, Fort Wingate served throughout the decades. Reporting at Fort Wingate, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News. The real estate listing agent says the property he expects it will go pretty soon. We are told two investment groups from Philadelphia and Arizona have shown a lot of interest.